Okay, so we're gonna be marking a base, and this is what comes through from um, the um, software. We've had it integrated with our computer so we can pull up at any room. So um, I obviously went in and found the patient that I needed and I picked the base and it's been sent over. So the first thing that I wanna do is blow it up. So I wanna go to the magnifier right here where it says zoom image and I wanna click on that. And I literally just hold the mouse down on this um, image and I just roll it up so that I can make the image bigger. Now, sometimes the contrast isn't going to be as awesome as you'd like, so you can change that by taking the right click and just scrolling at a diagonal and marking it and figuring out what's the best for your eyes. Some people like it darker, some people like it lighter. Another um, thing that you can do is right click and this box is going to come up and you're going to go down to bone enhance and you can change the amount of bone um, detail that you see. So if you want to go 70%, it's going to look super grainy. You can undo that by right clicking and going to 0% and it goes back to the original way. So let's see if I can bring up something that makes it a little clearer. So we'll do 30%. So the first thing that we want to do is um, check to see um, that there's no rotation, that there is no head tilt, and we do that by looking at like points. So we can look here at this little tuft that comes up on this side. We can look here at the mastoids and you just want to compare and it, you can literally take a measurement tool and measure from the edge of the skull out and make sure that there's not more than um, a sixteenth of an inch difference on the measurement tool. So um, I've already done that so we're going to start with the actual analysis. So we have our earplug line, uh, earplugs in and the first thing we want to do is set our zero zero line for the earplugs. So you find a like point and I am using the extended line for this particular tool because I can manipulate that line anywhere I want and I can have it go any, th any point I want, but because I want to pick like points, it's the easiest thing um, that will match the lines. And so for me, the colors that I chose were yellow to work on and red to solidify. So when it's yellow, you're still able to manipulate it. When it turns red, it means that it's solid and it can't be changed unless I want to delete it. So if I did make a mistake and I put the line somewhere else and it wasn't where it was supposed to go, I can highlight that line and it turns a different color and I can click on it and I can actually go and down in this box, if I right click, I can delete that annotation and it will disappear. If I've made a mistake and I want to start over, I can do the same thing and I can delete all annotations once there's more lines on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that zero, zero line down at like points with the earplugs and we've got that set. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is find the anterior points. So we go to the mark spot. So we've used the extended line and the mark spot, and there's a couple other tools that we use, mainly four basic tools for the Blair analysis, and then obviously we want to magnify, and we can take the hand, which is over here on the side, and move it to the right or to the left if you want to, up and down. Um, but I'm going to use the mark spot and mark the anterior point one and posterior point one. So remember how we do that. We look where the uh, atlas, um, atlas and the body come together at the little groove. So we find that intersection and we put a little spot and it marks up as a little red dot. And then we follow that around and we come around and we find out where it intersects with the posterior arch and put a little dot there. So the same thing, we come around here and we find that little spot there and we find the posterior arch and we kind of follow this around and where the two intersect is where we put our line right there. So um, the next step is you want to outline the condyle. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the mark spot on and you just want to outline the um, condyle. So you want to just follow this down and around and you kind of bring it out to where the transverse foramen is and then you kind of follow this up and around and you're just outlining the condyle. And then when you get to here, it's not necessarily that you're gonna be able to see the line, but you can connect the dots. So you just do that and that's the outline of the condyle. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the left side. And then we come up around here and we follow that around, and then we simply connect the dots. So now we have 
our occiput condyles outlined, we want to bisect them. So we're going to connect the original dots. And we're going to do that at the same time we're going to be marking a 90 degree angle. So we find the original spot. We start on the spot that we wanted to connect to and we make one line. And then to get a 90 degree angle, we literally just come out to the edge and we find 90 degrees. And you get as close as possible. Sometimes it's 90.1, sometimes it's 89.9, and sometimes you get lucky and you land right on 90. It looks like the closest I'm gonna get is 90.1. And then you just kind of pull that line back so it gets out of the way. You mark the angle measurement again for 90 degrees. And on, on this particular time, you start with the opposite dot you overlie, you come straight down, and then you come out to 90 degrees on that side. So we're, and I hit that right on the dot. Do you see how that looks like 90 degrees? We pull that out, and then we wanna do the same exact thing on the other condyle. So we find the spot that you originally found where the um, atlas intersects. Mark that, come out to the edge, and find 90 degrees. So basically, we're just trying to use simple 90 degree angles to be able to bisect this condyle and and once we bisect it we can actually get a convergence angle so there's my other 90 degrees i just had it sometimes you got to play with it a little bit it takes some getting used to with the mouse on a little finesse on here That's as good as I'm going to get for that one. So the fourth tool that I'm using is the center point. So we've got these 90 degrees. We want those um, angles 90 degrees to one another, and now we're going to bisect the condyle. So we start here, and we go to the edge, and a little X is going to show up. And we do that with each aspect of the little um, square that we've created and we literally just overlie the line and we know we're getting the exact center. So the center point tool is what we're using. I'm gonna use my extender line again because I don't wanna have it, I wanna start right where that middle X is and I want it to extend through that line. And I'm gonna use the extender line on, on both sides to have that just keep going. And then what we wanna do is we wanna create an angle from this condyle compared to this. In order to do that, you start where those little lines intersect, you put a dot, you draw a line straight out, and then you draw a line straight up to 90 degrees. And then we'll be able to measure exactly what the convergence angle is off the center of the film, or off the baseline of the film. So there's that angle, and then there is this angle and we're going to get that to 90. So now that we have those two lines we have two more angles to measure and that is going to be our convergence angle. So this is the right side of the film. Obviously this is the left marker. Um, right on right, left on left. We're going to start right at that, um, that point where they converge and we're going to measure up and over and that gives me 28 and a half degrees for the right and we're going to do the left angle by measuring up and then over, and that gives me 25.3. So I would actually round that down to 25 degrees. Um, if it's 25.4, I would round up to 25.5. So um, it's up to your discretion. Obviously, the more details and the smaller degree you can measure on the protractor angle at the film, the better picture you're going to get. So um, again, this is how we mark a base using digital x-ray, and the tools that we use are the extender line, the mark spot, the angle measure, and the center point. And then we can use the um, zoom image or the hand to move it around, and we can even use the magnifier if we want to get in there and really see something in detail. So that is how we mark a base, and those are the tools we use, and hopefully that's helpful.